Today on BRS TV Refacts, we answer, do these pH probes really need to be calibrated? And if so, when? Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of Beers TV Refacts. Today we're answering a quick question on pH probes. When do you calibrate them? Every year, month, week? What's the right answer? Well, the right answer is any time that you check them against the pH solution packet and find that they're no longer accurate. The first bit you should hear in that is if you check it against a dollar pH calibration packet, which is also essentially a standard, and it's acceptably close, move on. Don't bother calibrating, it's already reading accurate, and it's not gonna get appreciably better. In fact, you may be more likely to decrease accuracy in that case. So the real question is, how often should you check the probe against that standard or calibration fluid, and how close is close enough? That all really depends on what you use the probe for. In general, because it's only a buck and takes less than a minute to do, I'd take a single packet and test the probe monthly, but certainly quarterly, which is just four times a year. Both seven and 10 will work, but seven is probably the better of the two because it's closer to that 8.0 range that we run our tanks. You could check both, but I think that's unnecessary for a monthly accuracy check. As to how far it's off before you recalibrate, which is a $2, 10 minute process, that depends on what you use the probe for. If you use it on a calcium reactor, which doesn't just control equipment, but also an important tank safety component, and the pH actually controls the potency or calcium and alkalinity concentration of the effluent, well, in that case, I might want to maintain pretty strict accuracy with the highest quality probe that I can find. Same might be said of controlling a refugium lighting, a CO2 scrubber, a Kalkwasser dosing, or other equipment that directly affects the tank. Accuracy here is important. However, if I'm just using the probe to monitor the tank for no specific reason other than to tell me when something is catastrophically wrong, well, absolute accuracy here is less of a concern. I think as a general statement, I'd recalibrate for the most critical pH-related applications at five to seven hundredths of a point, for less critical, maybe a tenth of a point, and for general monitoring around that as well. I mentioned for critical applications, picking up a high quality probe is also critical, but honestly, these probes all look the same. So how would any of you know the difference? Well, there are a whole slew of differences which will improve accuracy, longevity of the probe, and decrease the frequency of calibration. This is a pretty old video that covers all of that in a few minutes, but you can spot the differences and get the right tool for the right job. So see you next Wednesday with the next batch of BRS TV Refacts.